And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Now, what can they do from here? Brandt. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Right, let's join Alex Scott because Alex, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Oh no, Alain! Oh, he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, just look at this pass from Marco Royce, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Schlotterbeck. Wolf. Bellingham. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And a goal! his brace they just can't keep him quiet well as the replay shows it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's oh, been... Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Rifled against the post, but back in play. In it goes! Such a complete performance! Four in front now! Well, just watch this again. He's bright, he's hungry, and he's determined. That's a good finish. The end of the game then, officially, and a victory for the Schwarz-Gelben. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.